couple years back, I was reading an article about the search for a human odor print. And this is the idea that every human being has a different and unique smell signature and that you might be able to chemically detect it. You know, dogs can already do this. People have unique smells. But these researchers were trying to figure out if there was a way to systematize that. Um, here's a spoiler. Most of us don't smell very good. They don't really know why. It could be something on the surface of our cells called the major histocompatibility complex. That has to do with how our immune system works. It might also be the different bacteria that live in different parts of our body. We all have a unique bacterial ecosystem that goes around with us. But then I saw another article, uh, another researcher looking for a way to find uh, the signatures of conflict minerals in various materials. So there are certain conflict minerals, you for stuff like coltan, right, that, uh, um, that aren't allowed in the country. It's illegal. So this researcher was using a technique called laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. You basically, you shoot a laser at the stuff and what kind of outgasses, what plumes off, you can do a, a, a chemical read on it and see what it contains. So you're looking for minerals like wolframite or... Um, Columbatantal, Col no, I can't do that one. Anyway, there's a lot of minerals that I have trouble pronouncing that aren't allowed in the country. But that got me thinking. Uh, maybe we should be able to see the signatures for everything. I mean, everything's going to have a unique chemical signature, right? So I was looking at some of the reports about uh, Google Glasses, Google Glass, the, the head-up displays that they're trying to uh, start selling where, I, I don't know, I guess you're walking down the street and you can tell whether the local Starbucks is having a sale or something. Um, but I was thinking that what I really want is in addition to the head-up display, I want a mask to flip down to. I want a Google nose, right? I want to be able to look at something and tell what the ingredients are. Um, to know what the molecular structures are that are giving something its smell or its taste or its shape, I suppose. Um, to walk into a farmer's market and know what the molecules are that make that orange rind smell like orange rind. Or what's inside those dried blueberries. I don't know. Because then you can imagine a world where if you can see that stuff, you can start to um, come up with combinations. You live in a world of Legos. You can figure out what might taste or smell good or what might look neat when put together. You would have so much more information about the world uh, when you walked around and saw it that you would know how to make things out of it later. Or at minimum, you'd be able to point this thing at a person walking down the street, figure they'd have a unique chemical odor print and know whether you wanted to friend them on Facebook. <laughs>